It's a fantastic session today. I'm really grateful and proud to have had my friend along with me today, the photographer. Catch him out, uh, the photographer at Instagram. He takes some fantastic shots and you'll enjoy seeing them. Now, I have three questions I ask all my clients, all my friends, and all the people I coach and I train with and I interact with in any setting. The first one is, Trav, and it's on the spot here. What's your favourite book? For the uh, Way to Peaceful Warrior by Dan Norman. I've listened to the audio version. I haven't read the hard copy. Yeah, the audio version. Yeah, is there yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really cool. I'm going to have to see the movie then. Okay, the next one is, how do you push through the pain, say, in a physical session, being in the army, there would have been some tough sessions, or how do you get out of... Um, how do you get through something when you just don't want to do it? How do you get out of a funk or how do you push through the pain? Each, either one, pick one. It's going to sound really bizarre. Um, and I guess everyone's different. Everyone has different mindsets and different thresholds in terms of psychology. But if I ever get to that place where I'm really I'm pushing the threshold, yeah. I create little scenarios in my mind. So, um, you know, I might, I might build a scenario where if I don't, you know, meet a particular number of reps or you know, complete a certain set with a, with a, with you know a, a level of intensity. Something might happen to someone that I love, or you know. So it's um it's about creating, I guess, what tangible, tangible scenarios where there's a little bit of fear involved. Yeah, yep. yeah. Is this something you learn in the army, or just something? No, you it's just something that I find works for me. Yep, yeah, yeah. I think that's the thing. Everybody so far, the, all the elite athletes, the business people, the teachers, they've all had different responses, and mm. s some are going to gel with others. Others, yeah. and people are going to go, "Wow, I haven't really heard that response." So that's something for me to think about. Next time we're doing a Hindu hold, if we don't do the full six Hindus, someone's going to be in big trouble. Let's think about that next time. Now the final thing is, you can answer either one Hicks is a two-part, two-loaded question. One is, what is your key to success? Or you can answer, what is your definition of success? I guess success comes with so many different contexts, and you know, yeah. there's so many different elements to success. But for me, I think it's it's having absolute authenticity about who you are, what you represent, and what you want to achieve in your life. And so long as that, I think, if, you know, if you have that complete authenticity, you you have complete freedom and complete happiness. And yeah. I think, you know, like there's so many people in this world at the moment, and, and you know, it's largely driven by social media, where everyone wants validation. They're all jumping on, you know, these trends, and they're not themselves. Like they're they're trying to be something else. They're, they don't have any element about themselves is unique. Yeah, and I guess I've seen so you know similar to what you're saying, like in uh, elite athletes or young athletes in particular, young people trying to climb the corporate ladder, and for them, success is CEO. Yeah. Or success is as a 12-year-old, one day they're only they can only succeed if they win the big gold medal. Yeah. But I think it's more it should be more based on your value metrics. It's kind of like success is am I authentic? Do I have a good set of values? Am I loyal to those values? And am I meeting those? And if you are, then what happens will happen and you just keep on working towards it. Cool. Exactly. Thanks to Trav for having us along today. Thank you, along. I hope you enjoyed Trav, uh, training with Trav today and myself. Jump on board tomorrow, do your mobility, do your level one or whatever day it is for you, make it work for you. Remember, if you're busy, the kids have woken up early or you've got to get to work and you only have time to do the prepare section, hunt section, get that done. If you then have other time to come back and finish it, finish it. If not, don't worry about it. It's about doing what you can and making it work in your lifestyle. You don't need expensive gyms, you don't need air conditioning, you don't need all this fancy stuff. Just plonk your iPad down, train with me, train with these special guys and you'll have a fantastic session each and every time doing what you can, exploring movement, getting your brain and your body talking and getting rid of aches and pains and learning to move again. Have a great day. See you shortly.